What's going on world? I'm Wesley from A Connection TV The Network, the one you know on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences and the one similar connection that I want y'all to adopt with me is with trying to understand why we continue to watch Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. <laughs> Cause I can't get it, alright? If y'all, if, if, this, if, if this is your first time watching A Connection TV, do subscribe because it's free to do. We are almost at 60 G, 60 G, 60 G, 60 G, 60 G. Let me have 60,000 subscribers, y'all. We are almost there. Thank y'all so much. And just thank y'all for the commentary on this video or on my video reviews for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Now, this episode is entitled Moving On, and we continue where we left off with Ray J coming in and dropping the minor stat and dropping the doodle stain panty draws and dropping all that shit on the floor in front of Tierra and Hazel and Masika, I think, was it Masika there? All the girls that was at the tattoo party. Um, but before that, Hazel and Tierra was about to get into it or was getting into it because Tierra's at her tattoo party, which by the way, she should have never got fucking got of Ray J. I, I, to this day, I don't understand why this female cannot comprehend why she was dumb for getting a tattoo of Ray J, okay, on underneath her titty. And you know, love can make you do some crazy things. When you're all up in your emotions, you will do some stupid, dumb shit. I get that. But... Do not try to be a person giving someone else relationship advice when your shit is fucked up. Don't do that. Don't do that because then I have every right in the world to try to get you to understand where you need to be. Because there is no way on God's green earth you can tell me about minds when yours is fucked up. So I was all Team Hazel in this whole situation. I was all Team Hazel because at the end of the day, chick, you already got your tattoo covered up. We don't need to keep partying. We got your tattoo covered up. And my Seiko and the other girl was like, well, what are you going to do, Hazel? My Seiko brought it up, not Hazel. So for Hazel to answer my Seiko, I think it's only, it only makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And then for Tierra to get all bent out of shape, oh, oh, what you got doesn't equate to what me and Ray J had and all that extra shit. I'm like, you're not a friend. You're not a friend. There are plenty of times where my friends divulge certain stories and certain tidbits of information to me and I'm just like, okay, like why are you telling me this? But I will never tell them that. I will never act like whatever they're telling me is below me, is beneath me, I'm above it, I don't wanna hear it, I don't have the time. I'm never gonna do that because whenever I go through my bullshit, because I go through a lot of bullshit, I'm just a fucked up individual. Whenever I go through my thing, I want my friend to fully give me their undivided attention. So you treat people the way that you want to be treated. And I don't think Tierra, Tierra can comprehend that. She's, she's, she's not fully there with in regards to understanding how you need to really be a friend when it comes to listening to your friend and then offering advice. Don't, when you, that's the thing, when you give advice, don't tell them what they better do. And don't make it seem like if they do not do it, then they're scum, they're like they're the worst. You need to offer advice to be like, you know, actually we do have quite similar situations, but me being honest, I really feel, Hazel, that you're putting yourself in a darker, deeper situation than I have because you and Berg aren't even in a committed relationship. So why are you playing with your emotions the way that you are? We gonna get we gonna we gonna get to we gonna get to Berg and Hazel E. But Ray J comes in, drops the shit. I think it was I think it was so wrong how Ray J became a queen and handled his situation in this tattoo parlor because he was like he was like why are you trying to hide it though why, why are you trying to hide it she was like give me that give me my dirty drawers and she was like why are you trying to hide that though why are you trying to I was like oh my god that's so terrible that is so wrong and Tierra is just sitting there like wow he's really playing me out like that and he was like here Take your monostat cream, take your VV oils or whatever he was saying. And she looked at him and she said, wow, and double-handed mushed him 
And you know, Ray Day immediately uh, reflexed, but had to remember, oh, I'm on TV and this is a chick. Can't do this. Can't do this. I'm on TV and this is a chick. Can't do this. But, um, and you know, they go back and forth, she throwing shit, he leaves, he gets out. Then we get to the whole, um, uh, Nia and Soldier Boy talking in the bedroom. Waste of time. Wait, waste of time. Then we get to Amaria, fake dancing in front of April like she isn't watching. Then he walks up to her and says, hey, what's up, boo? How you feeling? Like... That whole setup was unnecessary, and I was trying to figure out what he was doing. I'm like, is he digging in his ear? Like, what is he doing? Like, he's not even, like, what? I don't know. I like Omarion as an artist, and I think he's a cool entertainer, but I just couldn't understand that whole transition into them acting like they don't know what they're about to talk about, but he sits down like, oh, hey, what's up, babe? No. That was all, that was just whack. But I'm team April in this whole scenario because April, I don't know. April, I'm just team April. Like, I, I really am. She's trying, and Leslie is a fucking beast. Like, she is the worst. And it's sad because... You know, I could put Baba D on, on the level of just crazy and just like an attention kind of like chick, you know. But she has she has the ability to reason. Somewhat. You know what I'm saying? But Leslie, I <laughs> Amaria, he's like, okay, I'ma talk to her. You know, because everybody's like, this is not my problem. Her beef is not and should not be with me. Her beef is because you're not paying her bills. I am not the one that's supposed to be paying her bills. So you need to talk to her and you need to check her because I don't need to be going through this. I'm pregnant. You know what I'm saying? I'm pregnant. You know? Then we move past that and we get with Hazel E and Jazz now. Oh Lord Jesus. If this wasn't <laughs> if this wasn't fucked up, Jazz, I don't even know who Jazz is, but Hazel E and her lips are just very distracted. It's very hard for me to watch her talk. And I, you know, for some reason, I want her to see, I want to see her as a brunette or with black hair. The blonde is really, like, the lips and the... It's fucking with me. I just, I just can't. There's a, there's a hot ass parody video of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood or World Star Hip Hop. You know, sometimes they do have quality videos on world star hip-hop so that that you need to go watch that parody video it's hilarious but the person that's playing hazel has lipstick all over her <laughs> all over her face because her lips are just she has howard the duck lips but anyway this is not a, i'm team hazel i am and her situation with tiara amberg i'm team hazel um, so I'm, I'm feeling for her. I can ask Dodd with her. Adopt similar connections despite our differences. Because we've been through some, we've been going through the same shit. So she's talking to Jazz about the whole Tierra situation and how Tierra's not cool. And how maybe she need to go to rehab for her alcoholism. And how she's not fair. And how she downplays her relationship with Berg. And blah, blah, blah. And it's all about her. And then Hazel starts to break down. Now, I don't know if Jazz started laughing because Hazel E is an actress. And she told Jazz, girl, when the cameras come on, I'm going to put on the waterworks. But Jazz straight out busted out, started laughing. And the cameras did not edit that out. So the whole scene, it took away from the whole scene. Because she over here like, <laughs> girl, cut it out. <laughs> and I'm just like... What? Like, really? Y'all really gonna leave that in the scene mode? I hope whoever is the editor got terminated or fired because you should do. You should know better than that. So after after I saw Jazz laugh, I was like, I'm done with the whole scene. I'm over it. Shopping mall in Masika. Shopping for what? Shopping mall in Masika. Shopping for furniture for his new condo. My seek is all up in an arm, all up in arms. Oh, you my man, you my boo. I'm moving fast. I usually don't do this with everybody, but I'm moving fast. Shopping mall, like, well, you know, it's cool because I really like you. And, you know, I want you to be my boo. You are my boo. I mean, I like spending time with you and you're pretty. And, yeah, you know, I've been honest with you. I'm like, bruh, use a lie. Like, use a lie. You ain't, you have not been honest with NT1. You are a lie. Let's move on past that because I, it's something about my secret that I'm not really appreciating. Although when they were shopping 
And the furniture store, she kind of gave me a Rihanna tease. I, I know I just made some of y'all mad, but she did. You know, my secret is a beautiful girl, and so is Rihanna. Omaria, April, Fizz, and Amanda. Now, this particular situation was cool. At the end of the day, I liked how uh, Fizz was like, you know, I'm going to go talk to Moniz because you shouldn't have to be dealing with that. And you're right. She should not have to be dealing with that. Um, Amanda was late because she was getting her hair and makeup done to, to pop up onto the scene. You know, uh, she said she was at work late, but whatever. That was one of those filler lines, ad lib, AKA ad lib, which is fine, but whatever. You know, uh, but both Fizz and Omarion have uh, mama drama issues, but I think Amanda is classy for handling the way she handled herself with Moniece. Because Moniece would have got popped in the throat, straight up. Like she just would have. You know, and, and only because Moniece was being disrespectful. Don't, don't tell me to come see you and then you're going to try to read me. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. That's not cute. But I respect Amanda and I respect controlling uh, Fizz because Fizz is controlling. I respect her. Um, Nikki, I like Nikki. I really do. I like Nikki. I don't want her to be with Shopping Mall. I want her to be with an outlet. Or um, Macy's or something. I don't. I don't want her to be with shopping mall. Like he is not like worthy of Nikki. Now we all know. Like I said in my last video, Nikki had a ton of shit done to her. But when she was sitting at the bar in that black and that hair, everything looked right and perfect. And yeah, I didn't. I never said her titties were natural. I just said it didn't really look like. You know she got the ass number, but you go up to the titties and don't really... I don't know. Anyways, I like Nikki and I like her swag. I don't care what she got done to her. I like Nikki. Something's cool and real boss ass about her. So, you know, she's sitting there talking to uh, Shopping Mall. And Shopping Mall's like, yeah, you know, I'm over my seat because she's drowning me. She was doing the most. You know, we weren't together when we connected. She's like, did y'all fuck? He was like, no, we only did the oral thing. I'm like, because mm, who would want, like, really? Like, come on. Like, what? Mm -mm. I'm not asked that in that situation. I really don't understand what Nikki or Masika, maybe it's the, but Masika, Ma, Nikki got her own money. Masika, the one that ain't got, well, I'm not going to say she does not have anything. I'm just going to, Nikki got money. So she does, so she does not need to be dealing with shopping mall. But, you know, they make up, they kiss and stuff, and Nikki tells uh, Shopping Mall, you're going to get something later. Tierra sings uh, in the studio about kissing butterflies, and she sounds pretty decent. Hazel visits her, and they talk about the whole party situation. Now, once again, this was, okay, this was, uh, okay. A a in this particular moment, I'm vibing with Hazel, because as a friend, Tierra should be empathetic and sympathetic, period. Period. If you're a friend and you know your friend is going through a particular situation, whether or not you feel that they're smart in this particular situation, they're going through it and they're feeling emotional. You as a friend need to be there with open ears and optional advice for your friend, period. Never judge your friend. Never, um, never tell your friend what they should have done and, and because they did not do it, they fucking suck. Like, do not do that. That's not what friends are supposed to do, okay? I believe in harsh love, but you have to have gloves on when you're giving that harsh love. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just never a good situation for you to bring your friend down knowing that they are already down there already. So, true indeed, Hazel does not have a relationship with Bird. True indeed, Hazel needs to realize that she needs to stop falling for a bird. True indeed. What else? I think that's it. That's it, you know? But Tierra needs to say that with tact. You can't just say, well, I don't understand it. I really don't. I mean, I don't understand it either. I mean, at the end of the day, there's nothing to understand. She's in love with a person that's not in love with her. And she's allowing herself to keep going down and down and down. And he's just doing his thing. The only thing I'm going to say about that is, it's her fault. Because the dude told her. 
and has been telling her from jump, I am a hoe. This is what I do. You should not fall in love with me because I do not want to fall in love with you. This is the type of person that I am. If you want to deal with it, that is your prerogative. He tells her this and she still goes back thinking that she has the ability to change him. You should never do that. I would be, I would be all for Hazel if Bert was playing her left, right, and center and saying, well, you know, I do have feelings for you and you know, I do want to try to, you know, change for you and I, I do want to do this and I do want to do that. No, he does not say that all of the time. Only time he made mention to that was when she was like, I'm going to, you know, take away the pussy. But even still, ever since then, he's been telling her, chick, don't fall for me. So it's all Hazel's fault. There's a way that Tierra can say that without being a fucking ass. But, of course, Tierra is Team Tierra, so that's all that she cares about. She's talking about, oh, it was my party. Oh, it should have been about me. It's not about you. You're not a friend. You're just not a friend. Point blank, period. So, Hazel gets all upset. She runs out of the situation of that. Fizz goes to the studio to visit Moniz. This was just an awkward scene. Monisa, like, she had been working four jobs that day. She looked tired. She looked like she didn't even want to do that scene. Fizz was, like, ready to go and just hammering that nail into the wood. Just hammering her. Hammering her. Hammering her. Hammering her. And she couldn't even try to run away from the hammer because she was dead tired. Then she started to cry and shit. I'm like, Monise, get your shit together. When he pointed out that she got on new shoes... And Cameron don't have new shoes, at least not from her. And she's like, these are not new. He's like, look at them, they're new. Like, really? You want to sit here and talk about the, the responsibilities that you have to take care of and you're going to check Amanda when Amanda's? Come on now. I was like, all right, Fizz, but damn. I don't really care for Moniz, but it was just something off about that scene. I didn't really want to watch the rest of it. Um, then we get to Nia walking in on Soldier Boy and his day surprise party. Nia, stop. Nia, stop. The boy is just now turning 24. He's a Leo. Enough said. He got money. Enough said. Stop. You cannot mess with Leos when it's our birthday. When it's our birthday, it's our birthday. We don't care about anything else that's going on. Like, why are you, why, don't bring drama to me on my birthday. I'm the Leo King, like he said. Shout out to you, Soulja Boy, because I, I, I got you. I, I understand you. Shout out to Soldier Boy. I'm thinking to myself, Nia Riley, did you meet Soldier Boy at the freaking library? No, you did not. No, you did not. And soon as Superman at Ho came out and all the money started rolling in, you know damn well that he is not, you knew then he would never be husband material. Let's talk to a soldier boy or Dre, whatever his real name is, when the brother turned 32. And even then, that's kind of young. But let's talk to him when he turned 32 and he done got all his 20s out of his way. You know what I'm saying? Then you can be like, let's settle down. Let's get into a home. But she acted like she all upset and all surprised that Soldier Boy gonna have a party going on and it's his birthday and he turned 24. And we're dealing with Soldier. His name is Soldier. Boy, not soldier man, soldier boy. Okay, enough said. I'm, I'm over this. He told her to bounce though. I was feeling that. Yeah, bounce chick. This is my my party. Um, Omarion's mom's. Oh Lord Jesus, Leslie. Saying okay, uh, Abra and Omarion go to talk to Leslie, the mother. Girl, I'm not here for Leslie. I'm really not. She sounds sad. She really does. She sounds miserable, depressed, and sad. And the only thing that I walked, like, the only good thing that I walked away from with, uh, walked away with from this situation was when Omarion was like, uh, you're going to have to respect this. He was like, I'm starting a family. He said, you know, I can't always take care of you financially. And then when he got on the post-confessional, he was like, you know, when you do things for people, I was like, Okay, Omarion, you better have some common sense. That's what I'm talking about, Omarion. Then Leslie gonna be like, I'm number one. I'm the one that's here. No, no, no. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Get her off. Get, I mean, I hope Leslie is not that, is not that void. 
of 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 generally understanding. Like she can't comprehend what's real. I hope this is all an act. Hell, I hope Mama D, I hope Joyce, I hope all these mothers are an act for the show because if these chicks really do act like this, that is insane and it makes no sense. How Omarion bought, bought the mother houses? First of all, why are you buying a, why are you buying houses? Buy one house and have the shit paid off for so you can chill and relax. Why are you buying houses? Like that makes no, okay. Okay. And she ain't got no insurance. <laughs> oh shit. And then when she said, I'm an old ass lady. And then April came on. She's like, girl, you 46. You had a Marianne when she was 16. Like what? <laughs> wow. I was like, I like April. I rides for April. Um, Ray J and the whole Ray J and Morgan situation. Ray J was being a girl, point blank period. Ray J was being a girl in the whole situation, and that's all that that was. Calling Tierra out her name and saying that he needed to pay her back and all this extra shit. Ray J, you over your thirties? Like, what are you? What are you talking about right now? Like, what are you talking about right now, Ray J? That's all I have to ask you. What are you talking about right now? I want to watch this real quick. Can I say I love my Brandy? Can I say I love my Brandy? Brandy, <laughs> Brandy I just watched the little Ray J reaches out to his sister Brandy. Thank you to the Brandon V. Bruh, you've been rocking with me for a minute. I appreciate you for sending me that link. Cause I don't go to VH1.com like that. But Brandy hit it on the freaking there. Hey, Brandy, what's going on? Boo, you said that though, you said that. You told Ray J everything. <laughs> oh God, Brandy said, why are you still dealing with her? <laughs> hey, yes, Brand. Yes, God, Brandy. Anyways, um, the whole Ray J and Morgan situation, I, like I said, Ray J is just not acting his age. And Morgan was right. The whole tit for tat situation, it just does not make sense. It really doesn't when we're supposed to be mature. And then, of course, Ray J's drunk, so maybe that's why he was going off on Morgan. But I was team Morgan in this situation, a little discussion that they had. Um, now, we get to Hazel clearing out her side of the apartment. And she's crying. I wasn't here for it. I'm not here for Hazel and her tears anymore because I just don't believe it. If it's true or not, I don't know because Jazz was laughing at the nail place. So she walks down with her one box that looks really, really empty. Uh, it was like half closed and half open, no tape, no whatever. She walks outside to an open truck that's just sitting there with like half open and stuff like waiting for that one box to be placed in. I, I couldn't, I couldn't. It was just too much, uh, it was just too much. And then Tierra walks up and she gets out the truck. I don't know, why is she getting dr driven around? Like, why, why, why is she? I, I don't know. Uh, but she walks out the car and she's like, so what's up? I see you moving your stuff. And she was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, I'm moving. You gonna miss me? Tierra was like, well, here, well, get the keys to the office, bitch. I don't need to be here for this shit. You a fraud. Bye, bitch. I'm like, damn. Damn. Really? Damn. Then, you know, Hazel like, wow, I'm a fraud. I gotta be. I'm like, you just grab all that shit she just said to you. The only thing you took out of that was fraud. <laughs> what? Yeah. Then Hazel E sitting on a light pole and the girl sitting in her car. Tierra sitting in the, in the, in the truck. Um, and the driver just posted. I don't like, okay, this nah, we not doing this. But he was, he was like, why do you get to talk to me the way that you get to talk to me? You're supposed to, you're supposed to be proud of me. She's like, Tierra's like, yeah, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you that your motherfucking 34 is still trying to, you can't rap, you can't write, you don't got money, and you 34, you still trying it, whack bitch. I'm like, damn, she... She Tierra said, you pay half for the half for the rent. And you still, like, this is what you gonna do to repay me? I'm like, damn. <laughs> 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 
Wow. I was like, wow, Tierra. Wow. The Hazel E threw, I guess, the keys at her or something. And then him, Tierra. Tierra, like, Hazel E was like, get out the car then. What? You want to do something? Get out the car. Tierra thinking for a second, like, I don't see no security. Where's the security? Where Mona at? Mona, what, what can I do? Bitch, I'm about to get out the car. When she get out the car, she gonna look at the camera like, do I see anybody? Then there's an edit. And then Tierra walking back in the car like, all right, I'm not gonna do this with you right now. I'm like, what happened? Cause Hazel E looked like she was ready. Hazel E looked like she was ready. Why did Tierra, Tierra run back in? I can understand that. What do y'all think of this particular episode of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. I'm Wesley from A Connection TV, the network where we ask, die, adopt similar connections and spot our differences. Before I go, Bird and Hazel E. The next preview coming in. The next preview. Hazel E. Leave Bird alone. He tells you to your face, I do not want you. You say, okay, well then I'm gonna leave. He says, okay, do what you feel you have to do. Walk away. I've been in plenty of conversations where I, I, plenty of situations where I've liked someone and they not, and they did not like me the way that I liked them. But the difference is, our relationship did not speak volumes and 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 tell me to my face, Wesley, I do not like you. Like none of the dudes ever said, Wesley, I do not like you like that. Every situation we were in, just like Berg and uh, Hazel E, led me to believe that there was an actual opportunity or a possible outcome for us to be together. And every situation leading up to current day, okay? I've yet to meet one person like Berg that'll sit here and tell me, I do not want you, this is not gonna work, this is the way it's going to be, do you, and I'm gonna do me. I wish! Someone could be able to tell me that if, if it, in fact that is the case. I feel that as grown individuals, we should be able to tell each other how we feel, express our thoughts and our opinions without hesitation. Because I can easily do that. I can tell you if I like you, I can tell you if I don't. I can tell you what annoys me and I can tell you what, what won't. Okay? And I can also tell you what makes me happy. Like, I can speak my mind without a problem. And some people can't do that. I respect Bird because he does that to her, but she still chooses to deal with it. So it is not Bird's fault or his problem. It is Hazel's problem. And Hazel needs to get a grip because girl, bye girl, there's too much pink eye in the world for you to be worried about somebody that's tattooed up under his eye and got a lot going on. Yeah, he got a little money, but he ain't all that cute. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he really ain't. So at the end of the day, Hazel, I'm team Hazel, but girl, you got to realize that you can do bad all by yourself. Now, I'm leaving. Deuces.